I'm Gina and I would like to introduce you to Triple Mag. We are three girls hunting and fishing all over the world. Triple Mag stands for Triple, the three girls, Mag, Madison, Alyssa, and Gina. And I'm the mom and I have loved the outdoors ever since I was a little girl and my daughters have followed in my footsteps. I have really been looking forward to this trip because we are at the St. Lawrence River with our extended family. Being that I'm usually in Nashville or traveling all over the country, I don't get to see them a whole lot, so I've been really looking forward to spending some quality time with them. Caught a baby minnow. This trip was really special because it was also a family vacation, so I had all my cousins and everybody to play with. What a fisherman puts the boat in without the plug in it. Only our dad, fisherman, king of the Good one. Adirondacks. How about a battery? Now everything's wet. How about a battery? It's a rainbow through a cloud, a stream that runs for miles and miles. It's the ocean, the way it moves, a Colorado. So fun. <laughs> I've always loved the outdoors and I think because it brings out a lot of emotions. Nature can be quiet, peaceful and serene and on the other hand it can be wild, crazy and very scary sometimes. So to me it's a big challenge and I'm so glad that my girls love it too. We spend probably 99% of our time together and I know I drive them crazy at times and they drive me a little crazy sometimes too. But we probably have one of the best lives that we could and I'm so thankful for that because we travel all over the world and we see so many amazing things together and I, I'm just so lucky that I get to share that with my girls. Today we're here at beautiful Jamestown Falls in upstate New York. We walked up here to the falls and we're going to use some minnows and crayfish and worms and see if we can catch us some big bass or pike. You already caught one as soon as you got here, didn't you? Yeah, so we're going to have a great day here on the water and then a little later the rest of the family's going to come and we're going to have a picnic. Maybe we'll cook up some fish. This trip was really special because we were on our family vacation and the falls is a place that Matt's family has been going for years and years and years. His grandfather used to take him there fishing when he was a very little boy all the way up through until his grandfather passed away. That was one of their favorite places and it's very special to the family. So we went back there this year with the whole family, had a picnic out on the rocks, just had a really fun day of fishing all together and what's better than family, fishing and fun. We had an awesome day on Racket River. My cousins and all my family was there. It was pretty fun to have all my cousins there because they are crazy. And the fishing day kind of turned into a fun day of swimming and jumping off the rocks. All right, I use my new outdoor edge knife to whittle a hot dog stick for lunch. See if I can do it. Oh, it's not that clear. I guess that'll work for hot dogs. Well, we got a little fire going and now we're gonna get our sticks and roast up some hot dogs because it's lunchtime, we're hungry, aren't we? I personally didn't catch a whole lot of fish at the falls, but that's not what it's all about. We were just there to have some fun with the family, have some lunch, hang out, and that's what it's all about. What a 
great day we had here at the falls. We had our whole family here. We had a picnic on the rock. We caught lots of fish. And I got to go swimming with my cousins. Get your family outdoors. You won't regret it. Triple Mag is proudly brought to you by these fine sponsors. Browning Trail Cameras, the most cutting edge game cameras on the market today. Moonshine Attitude Attire, get your shine on. Axion Archery, the innovation continues. Keitlinger Motors, where customers send their friends. And by Traveling Tower, no tree, no problem. This portion of Triple Mag is being brought to you by Kogar Right-of-Way Clearing, specializing in gas line and right-of-way clearing. The Mag family seems like everything is a competition. We got back to have dinner at the cabins and Matt's mom said, well, let's just wait till Matt's here so he can do the cooking. And oh goodness, Uncle Brendan and Uncle Elliot did not like that very much. So they took that as a challenge that they were going to cook the fish that night and they were gonna do it better than Uncle Matt. So there you have it, the competition is on. All right, we're having a grilling war between Dad and I and Uncle Brendan and Uncle Elliot. And we're gonna win. Here, Kenny. Whatever. Try that out. Kenny will try that. He'll tell. He'll tell fish. you what we're, what we're dealing with right here. All right. It's excellent. I don't know what they got working over here, but we're working with excellence. They got all jealous, so they're trying to beat us. But they totally set me up for failure because we were talking about oh. your recording to Nashville had a bunch of stuff going on, and the cooler gets slammed in our front door, and they were over there preparing all the special little ingredients and all this and have you taste it and see what you're up against before you finish it. Oh, you might want to change your spice. My tapeworms <laughs> probably will handle this. <laughs> I don't know if they'll vomit but they'll handle it. It's alright. It's alright. I don't know if you want to take another look, but the fish plate is rapidly disappearing. It's uh, Hathaway Germans, one. <laughs> Fantasky, zero. Good yeah. job. Yeah, I'm going to see where we're at. I put you on Okay, here we have uh, something special. We have some perch and some pike. The Cabin 5 does not have any of this. This was kept out secret. We're going to serve it up to Pappy. We fried this in the pan. Let's see what Pappy thinks of it. Oh, excellent. Hello, guys. Did you get that hand coming in? Oh, boy. Dad, I still I got the hand coming in. This is the best there is. I'm not going to lie. All I can say is I thought all of the fish was delicious. I'm not taking a side. Oh, I right. think what we've come down to is the fried fish was the best, but this was supposed to be a grilling war. So maybe we'll just call it a tie. Yeah, tie. It's a draw. That's fair. Our family is definitely non-typical when it comes to schedules or routines. We don't have anything that is normal. We are on the road all the time, but the girls have adjusted very well. And I think that it's pretty cool because Maddie's not in the public school anymore, so you might say, well, she's not getting the social life that she would get if she was around kids every day. But you know what? We go to so many different locations and we try to learn the history and the people, the locals there in every location. So I feel that she is getting the social abilities of a much older person than she would if she was just in regular school. We don't really have a normal schedule, but I don't really mind because we get to see lots of cool places, lots of cool things, and it's really fun. On this trip, we had a great opportunity to go fishing with Captain Rich of Steinman Charters for Northern Pike. I've never caught a Northern before, but I hear it's a lot of fun, and Captain Rich did a great job of putting us on the fish. Well, we have to clear customs here to go fishing in the Canadian waters, so Captain Rich is going to call in and get us all cleared before we take off. They got a good system here. You just call up uh, Canadian customs, 
You tell them you want to fish in their water for the day. They tell them how many hours you're going to be over there and where everybody's from. They clear you by phone. As long as you're not landing on land, everything's good. As long and, uh, as we stay in the water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, then we'll come back later on, fish the American waters a little bit, and uh, have our short dinner. Oh, sounds good. All right. Uh, what's this chicken for? Oh, hey, that's Lawrence. That's Lawrence St. Lawrence. A good friend of mine from uh, Arizona brought that all the way here to Clayton for me and gave it to me. And every day, we have to rub the chicken for good luck. And you gotta give him a kiss. Rub him. Rub him give him a kiss. It's good luck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I really don't know what a rubber chicken has to do with catching fish, but if it's gonna bring me luck, I'll take it. Captain Rich is a really cool guy that knows what he's doing, and it started to rain when we were going out to our spot, but that didn't worry him at all. He had all kinds of gadgets that told him what the storm was doing. We're right in the middle of it right now. All this haze is the storm, and it's about five miles long, and we're already over halfway through it, so it's moving right along really fast. So. I'm going to say in the next 15 minutes we'll, we'll be fishing with no rain. So. I know Mom and Alyssa have been sneaking into my secret fishing hole, so I'm going to catch them. Look familiar, girls. Today we're fishing on the St. Lawrence River with Captain Rich. The trip has been great so far. It started out with a big family reunion with all of Matt's family on the Racket River, and now we're spending the day on the St. Lawrence. We're getting ready to do some uh, bass and jack perch fishing. Okay. If we catch something else, that'll be fine too, but this spot right here is known for uh, really good eating fish. The key here is uh, we're kind of fishing for fish that aren't really hungry because we've got a lot of bait fish on the bottom. There's literally millions of bait fish on the bottom. They're called gobies and the fish eat them. So the bites are going to be light. You have to watch the tip of your rod for a bite and don't set the hook too quick on a fish. Let them get the bait down in because they're going to take their time because they're not starving. Captain Rich was really knowledgeable about the fish in the St. Lawrence River and with his help I know we won't be going hungry when it's time for the shore lunch. On our way to our first fishing spot, Captain Rich tells me about this rubber chicken that a friend gave him. Every day, we have to rub the chicken for good luck. And you gotta give him a kiss. It's good luck. <laughs> there you go. Mad dog takes right off. Huh? Get it up and in, Manny. Hey, nice perch. I'm actually glad that Lawrence gave me good luck because the first cast I had, I got a fish right on. Aren't you glad you kissed Lawrence now? So the very first catch, you got a, got a fish. Okay. Yeah, a little better. Oh, no, he There's it. one eating size. Oh, no, he it. That's eating size. That's eating size right there. Cool. Oh, good. How big does it have to be to keep? Uh, uh, there is no limit on these. Oh, there's no limit. Now, th here's an example. That fish just had your minnow in his mouth. And, and here's one of the gobies that's on the bottom. There's oh, millions of these invasive fish so that's in the river. What you're talking They're about. perfect protein for the fish, and they gobble these up. Now, all of our fish are getting big because of that. Is that its eggs? Yep. That's the eggs coming out of the, the goby. Maddie has yeah, one. Maddie. That's one. Maddie, keep the rod right up. Keep the right up. All right. Now, there you go. Even part of the line well for me. Did you hit the release button? Yeah. <laughs> so we're at our first fishing spot and Maddie and Alyssa are catching one fish after another and I haven't caught anything yet. I think I need some of that luck from Lawrence. Need your luck. Mwah. Come on, Lawrence! You're good, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> now let me uh, show you. What do you got? What do you got? I think I got a bass. All right. Keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. Real, 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 real. real. That's a nice bass. That's over four. Oh, my God. Austin. Just lift the tip. Lift, 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 lift. Beautiful. Good one. Oh, wow. You know what I like about fishing with women? They listen to me. The guys <laughs> never listen to me. I don't get it. You did a beautiful job on that fish. Just the way it goes, right? Played it, played it great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's gorgeous. Awesome fish. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's a four pounder. Bye, bud. <laughs> Which one's uglier? 
Triple Mag is proudly brought to you by these fine sponsors. Game Plan Gear, Advanced Hunting Systems, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Whipper Hill Consulting Inc., educated and experienced environmental inspection, Bricker's French Fries, satisfy your taste buds, Heater Body Suits, you stay warm or your money back, SKB Cases, producing the best transport cases in the world. And by Hua Reserve, amazing beef straight from Colorado. Today we are fishing on the St. Lawrence River with Captain Rich of Stein Man Charters. I really can't think of a better way to spend a family vacation than being out on the water with my girls catching fish for dinner. You know what I like about fishing with women? They listen to me. The guys <laughs> never listen to me. I don't get it. Oh, Maddie! <laughs> fishing with my family is really fun, and we are catching a lot of fish. Between the luck of Captain Rich and Lawrence, we're doing pretty good. Um, what's this chicken for? Every day, we have to rub the chicken for good luck. Then you gotta give him a kiss. Good luck. There you go. <laughs> nice job! <laughs> there you go. Maddie! Maddie. That was a bass. tough one, wasn't it? I got a big bass. Got a big bass. Small mouth. I got a bass. A big small mouth, huh? Oh, yeah. Drop. Go easy. Come on, Manny. Don't go real hard on these fish. Don't go hard. There we go. Ah, oh, is it? I'll work on this if you guys. Say yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Beautiful, Maddie. Good job. Fishing with Rich from Steinman Charters was an absolute blast. I caught my first pike ever, which I must say was the biggest pike. And I was really proud of that, and let me tell you, it put up a heck of a fight. Tiring me out. <laughs> this is fun. It is fun. Yay! There you go. That's a meaty. Oh my. Yeah. That's a gator. Oh my gosh, look at that. How does he look? See how you inhaled that jig? How's that? Oh. Awesome! Nice. <laughs> wow, we just pulled up to this beautiful island. There's a gorgeous gazebo, and this is where we are going to cook our shore lunch and eat what we caught this morning. This week's Mad Dog Moment is being brought to you by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. In this week's Mad Dog Minute, we are going to show you how to fillet and take the Y bone out of a northern pike. First thing we want to do is take the sides off. It's a rib cage right there. We'll take that out. Can you see the ends of these bones right here? Yeah. That's the Y bone. They go the opposite way of the ribs. They work up this way to give the pike support. And we'll take that out. That's what gave uh, pike a bad reputation because they're bony. When you take that out, you're some of the best eating fish on the river right there. So I always take my knife and Run across the fish like that so I can see the very ends of these line bones. See in there? Yep. You want to cut the top side of those bones until you go down and hit the bones. Now listen, you can hear them. It's all bone. The key is a sharp knife, folks. There's the whole piece, no Y bones in it. There you have it. That's how you take the Y bone out of a northern pike. What do you think, Mad Dog? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through the day, Captain Rich docked at a pavilion and he made us a delicious shore lunch. I didn't really know what to expect and it may not have been the healthiest lunch, but I didn't care. It was so good. 
I knew that a shore lunch was going to be part of our day, but I just expected we were going to cook up some of the fish that we caught, and that was basically it. Was I ever wrong? Captain Rich cooks the traditional shore lunch, so I was very pleasantly surprised that we got the traditional shore lunch. Catch it, clean it, eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Captain Rich Clark here with Signman Charters out of Clayton, New York. He'll take you into Canada, he'll bring you back, he'll get you a pike, musky you even fish in. I'm a musky fisherman, bass, walleye, northern pike. Yep, it's an awesome time. We can't wait to come back. The shore lunch, oh my gosh. He's a great cook, let me say. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he a good cook, Maddie? He even knew how to get a tick off of your arm. <laughs> Mad Dog got a tick on her arm today. We got that off too, didn't we? But um, no, the lunch was absolutely delicious. I'd come back just for that. You don't even have to take me fishing. <laughs> I hope you can get back here soon because it was really fun fishing yeah. with you and you're good people. We had a great Thank time. You Thank you so much. Thank you. After we got done fishing for the day, we headed back to the family and we decided to have a fire. So I brought along my guitar and got to sing for the whole family again, just like old times. And my little cousins even joined me for a song or two. It was the perfect ending to a great day.